Your personalised wellbeing plan is a way to share information about what matters to you and how people can support you at this time. It lets people know what you need and helps you to make decisions about your own situation. It can help you to think about your elective procedure or if you are staying at home because of medical reasons. Making a written plan on the template means you won't need to keep telling your story over and over again. You can write the plan yourself or you can ask family or friends to help you. You can also ask your health or care workers or even someone from a voluntary service who is helping you. The first part of your personalised wellbeing plan is general information about you and practical information like how to contact you and if you have an unpaid carer helping you. The next part is about what matters to you most at this time. This might include making a note of who are the most important people in your life and how you usually keep in touch with them and how you want to keep in touch if they aren't able to visit you. Your plan also asks you to write down important things about your routine and what you look forward to. This helps to think about keeping as many of these things in your life as possible whilst you're at home. Things like reading your newspaper or speaking to your family and friends. The next part of the plan is about your health condition, how you manage it and the medication you take. Writing your plan helps you to think about what you're worried and concerned about. For instance, you might be worried about how to get your repeat prescription or whether it's safe to collect your paper yourself or go to your hospital appointment. The plan asks you to note down the most important things that can be planned for, but not a list of general things that bother you. Another part of your plan will help you to think about what needs to happen to help you to look after your own well-being right now and to help you stay emotionally and physically safe and well. It's about what you can do for yourself and what others can do to help you too. It might include speaking to your pharmacist to arrange for them to continue to deliver your prescriptions, your doctor or carers to decide whether you are happy to go out and pick up your newspaper or who will get your shopping if you can't. The last part of your personalised wellbeing plan helps you to know where you can get help now. If you have access to the internet, you can find information about coronavirus on these websites and your GP practice will be able to let you know where to find information about your health condition. It could help you to keep up to date with the latest radio and TV news, talk to your family, read your usual newspapers. If you're making the decision about having an operation, you can take this with you to help plan your care. If you have a long-term condition, you may find it helpful to have a personalised care and support plan. Speak to your doctor or healthcare professional about this.